Today I wanted to show you how to import images into the IDS software, or how do we get our images from our computer or other device into the software to begin working with it. So there's three ways we can go about doing it. The first way I want to show you, you actually will minimize the software. So here I have the software open. We're going to hit the minimize button. And we can just go into our explorer view. And when we do that, we're going to see a couple of examples that I've gone ahead and pulled up here, and I've gone ahead and selected both of them. So then I'm going to right click, and once you install the software, you're going to get a couple more options on your right click options in your explorer view. One of those is going to be import files into the IDS system. The other one is going to be export files from the IDS system. So what we're going to be working with today is importing files into the IDS system. So I'm going to left click on that and it's going to give us a couple of progress bars here. And once that progress bar is closed, then I'm going to go ahead and pull this software back up. And I'm going to hit this button, this refresh film strip button. So what the refresh film strip button does for us is it tells the software, I want you to go look in this file location. And the file location it's going to go look at is this film strip file location that you had the opportunity to set or change in your preferences. It's going to tell the software, go look in this file location. And for anything that's been added to it, go ahead and pull those images into the software. And for anything that's been deleted from it, go ahead and pull those images out of the film strip view. So I'm going to hit that refresh film strip button. And what we're going to see is we're going to see those two images now go ahead and pull into the view. I'm going to click on the header here for image one. This is going to be our image pane one. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this latent print view. Now, as this latent print pulls in, you're going to see a couple little adjustments that the software is going to make to fit it to your screen. And, uh, and that's it. We can start working with that image. Now the other way that we can get images into the software is we could go file and click on import images or we could go uh, import them from a camera or acquire them from a scanner. I want to talk real quick about acquiring the images from a scanner. One of the great things about this software is it never touches your original image. So when you import something through the software from a scanner, it's going to need to save an original copy of that image somewhere. And the place that it does that is your scan to folder. So again, you can select that or change that in your preferences. But that scan to folder is going to be where that original image is stored. And then the software is going to automatically pull in this virtual copy of this image. And that's what we're going to be working with in the software is a virtual copy. So again, the software never touches your original image. So that's the second way that we can get images in. The first way being go to your Explorer view, select the images you want to import, right click and select import files into the IDS system. The other way being go to your file and you can select your file in the header menu and you can select import images, acquire them from a scanner or import them from a camera. And then the third way that we can get images into the system is we can actually go down here by the film strip and we can click open film strip. What that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and navigate and open this film strip folder. So here we're going to see the known print that we have pulled into the software. We're going to see the latent print image that we have pulled into the software. And we're also going to see the history file for that latent print. So as soon as we pull that image in so that the software can start working with, we the history tracker went ahead and start tracking all the changes that have been made to this image. So this history file kind of tags along with the latent print image. So let's say I want to go ahead and delete one of these out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these options. I'm going to left click on one, hold the shift button, and then left click on the other one. And hit delete. And it's going to send those to the recycle bin after I click yes. So then minimize my explorer view, hit the refresh film strip. Again, we've deleted something, so now we want the the computer software to go back through and see what's been added or deleted to the film strip folder and we're going to see that image of the known or excuse me the latent print disappear we still have the preview up here that's no problem we just click in the header we click on the known print uh, for this case and we're going to see those known print images pull in there's one more way that we can get these images out of the film strip folder and it's a very simple way and that is once we've left clicked on an image I can right click on it and it's going to give me a couple options that'll pull up here as soon as this reloading taskbar closes. So again, I'm now going to right click on this image and it's gonna give me the Explorer view or a delete image option. So I'm gonna click on delete image. It's gonna prompt me to make sure that I do truly want to delete it. I'll hit okay. 
and you'll see now that that known print image or that other image that was in our film strip has disappeared. So those are the three ways to add images into the system to start working with them and a couple ways to get them out once you've got them in. Uh, again, my name is Matt Marvin. If you have any questions, please give us a phone call anytime at 1-800-TEAM-RSA or you can reach us through the website at www.ronsmithandassociates.com. Take care, have a great day, and God bless.